Good afternoon. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a detailed uh, rivet family. Uh, it's actually a, a series intended to explain how to make uh, rivet windows in detail. I will start in today's video to show you a very basic uh, method to make a very simple uh, fixed uh, type window. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and do it. So just start up the file here and in the new go and family and beware not to pick from the English empirical system unless if you are using the inch system uh, just go English here which is a metric and you go down and you're gonna see two types uh, of uh, window this dude here and this one this one is just a metric window I'll, I will open both of them so I'll explain everything for you from the beginning this guy here, as you can see is just a wall and just an opening with a couple of basic parameters been set for you and if you go to the 3d you're gonna see what I was telling you is just a wall, a conceptual wall, with an opening inside, nothing, no frame, no glass, no nothing. Now if you go again, if you go, oops, if you go again and you go new family, and up and English. Let's go to the same thing with a trim. Now you're going to see that there is an external object that represents an external frame sitting somewhere just let me hide that guy yep so see there's a frame in here no glass again no inner frame that hold the glass panel anyway so just to show you the difference between this dude and the one we're gonna work with it the one that doesn't doesn't have anything in it so I'm gonna close the one with the trim and let's go ahead and start here as you know, there is a, a previous, uh, there are actually a couple of uh, a preset uh, parameters already been uh, set up for you, including the width of the window and the height of it. And that's really good and, and useful instead of starting from nothing. And you need, in this case, you need to wall and make a window. You, need, you know, like it might take a couple of minutes uh, to do this. It's already been set for you. It's already been specified which part is exterior, which part interior. When, and you're going to see that. Uh, useful uh, in the next step or next videos when you're going to make an external framing from the inside ones. Anyway, let's go ahead with our very basic from the beginning uh, tutorials uh, to show you how to model a window. I'm going to do, do again a fixed type, which is the basic one and the, the easiest one, I believe. And again, if you noticed, I click from the new reference a plane to the old one or from the less important to the more important and here from the new one to the old one don't do it the other you know the other way otherwise it's gonna be a very big mess uh, apply a new, a new parameter for it let's call it uh, frame width and it's a type and it's too big as a text so just make it smaller that's better okay now flex this guy and see if it's working perfectly hit uh, 50 and as you can see it works smoothly now uh, we define the thickness of the frame and I'm gonna do the basic extrusion uh, if, if you remember I did this uh, I did similar thing uh, as defining a rivet family but it was a door and I do I use it sweep instead of an extrusion that might be useful for you uh, to have more than one method anyway so let's make the external uh, frame uh, or actually let's make the window frame which we actually need to select or create two boxes one of them solid and one of them void so I'll, I'll start by picking the solid one and remember uh, don't select the face of the wall just select the reference plane and lock them and the problem is not here the problem is here you see this is the wall face so hit a tab tab you know this is the reference plane click it and lock it don't select the continuous again just tab tab you know and then select and then lock now trim or whatever it's called here in rivet now that's the box that's the solid if I go to exterior uh, zoom in you have to push that guy here to the face lock it and then to the lower edge of the window or the window cell and then lock it so technically here I have a box fully solid nothing in it as you can see okay now I'll get back to the reference level 
and now we need to create the same extrusion but this time it goes instead of a solid into a void uh, again pick and then select the reference plane lock same business careful here from the same trap couple of tabs and then lock and then trim tr now that's finished now this dude here again in the exterior that guy really needs something you know to refer to and in this case we need to create new to reference plane one here and one here and again di from the new one to the old one from the new one to the old one don't do it the other way around again the label here or the parameter has already been predefined so I'm gonna use the frame width and now I get to select the void and lock don't forget to lock again that's the issue with making families we're always forgetting them now nothing happened that scared a little bit it's okay just go cut and be patient to select that one and then that one and you get your frame has been you know working properly now before you go ahead and make the glass panel it's a good idea to flex things so we have a width let's make it instead of a five one thousand make the five hundred working and the height let's make it zero here and see if it's working oops don't freak out when that's happened you have to have this happen otherwise you will never ever learn how to make a correct families so be patient look for this type of mistake drag it you know lock it again for some silly reason it wasn't working anyway let's do that again I'll make that 1500 the height it, it's working and the width I'll make that I'll make it 1500 again and uh, beautiful so it's working perfectly now probably we need to change the uh, frame let's go with 30 and it's working uh, that's all so far for this uh, let's go to reference the plane again let's go make uh, a glazing so we need to make two reference plane you can make one reference plane if you're not really you know annoying try to get the detail fully correct you can just make that into uh, you know the thickness of the glass or if you want a glass to be exactly centered to the center of the wall you have to make two as I do di in one two three and then click uh, you have to make them equal equal and probably instead I'll just define a new parameter and I'll call it half thickness and uh, I'll go here and make uh, a new parameter here and I will make it a uh, glass thickness and the glass thickness this dude should equal to half thickness I should name this half glass thickness anyway multiplied by two hit apply so that can be get from you know from the value of the half so if I say here 10 and I hit apply this guy should be 20 and both of them will be uh, the the overall glass thickness will be uh, you know 20 if I say here 10 and I hit apply those guys should be 5 and I think there is a mistake in here so that's a nine here you know my bad so uh, that's all I think again let's make 7.5 hit apply working perfectly great that's done now let's go for an extrude again so pick and lock pick and lock and don't select the face but instead the reference plane the reference plane now you know how to do the business just trim Oops. Great. Finish. Now let's go exterior again and lock that to the reference plane to the lower one. And I will lock that to the lower one again. See, uh, while we're here, it's uh, the glass. So I have to apply a material to it. It's usually going to be glass. So I'm not going to change that. So go to 3D. That's what we want. 
lovely now let's flex again always flex things instead of being really sorry not to do that that's the height uh, that's the width and the glass is working perfectly with it let's see if there is anything wrong in here now that's so far so good now the glass uh, have no idea let's say glass thickness maybe five hit apply and as you can see that's an overall of a 10 now before we jump and load that into the family I will just you know select the frame as you can see and apply a material to it so I'm gonna add a parameter to it and I'm gonna call it frame material and it's a type again and that's all now I'm going to uh, have a new project environment open I'll choose metric as usual default metric now I will apply that you know the wall any type generic 200 okay and in it I will go back to the family itself and load that guy into the uh, project too all right and if I zoom in you see that's the that's the wall I can click in it and that's my family if I select here you see that's a family three uh, it's a serious mistake again not to name so I, I I've done that mistake you should have named that and uh, load it again I'll, I'll do that again it's really a bad habit not to name so I'm gonna go save as a, a family and I'm gonna go to the desktop uh, window family here I'm gonna just name it as a fixed window okay and it's just a fixed window so I'm gonna save I'm gonna load it again yeah and project 2 beautiful so that's it here I'm gonna delete that whatever it is so that's my window fixed window inside uh, this guy fixed window there's only one type of it which is whatever we have in here and I'm gonna just uh, copy this dude here and uh, maybe another one now let's see if it's worked perfectly the first and the most important one is to select the wall himself and then change you know the type and by the changing the type I need to see the thickness is different and to see whether my external internal faces of the frame actually following the the thickness of the wall and they are working perfectly now we need to check the you know let's go 3d now let's have a look at the type itself parameter of the window not the wall so let's say instead of uh, a height of a 1000 let's go of 500 all of them changing together that's why we made it as a type let's go another uh, 500 for the uh, width beautiful and I'll change the thickness of the glass the thickness of the glass will not be shown here in, in a really clear manner so I'm gonna go here uh, change the frame and make it 30 instead of 50 and as you can see it's uh, getting uh, uh, thicker so again there is a predefined uh, uh, parameter goes as an instance uh, which is the cell height you see I didn't define it by myself it's already been defined for the window so you can change that separately to make this guy higher than the rest which is really useful to make windows higher than the rest in the house especially in the bathroom or in the kitchen where they goes at a different height, uh, height rather than the rest of the house uh, again uh, what else we still have to check uh, we need to check uh, again that the very thick frame it's really ugly so I'm gonna make it uh, 30 probably get it back to how it was and instead of the thickness of the glass uh, 10 mil I will make it a 50 mil and it's really getting thicker here and as you can see that the relationship is this as uh, double of that uh, value now that's all has been checked one last thing to check before we go and we finish I'm gonna go realistic seeing the material the glass is there and that's the brick everything is going perfectly let's just flex applying the correct material for the frame and that's the final bit so I'm gonna go to frame and should be in the project environment so you load the material available in your uh, Revit library and again if you can pick any type of uh, oak uh, any type of food I mean I don't know and you say uh, just hit OK 
you're going to see that uh, material is being applied, you know, to the to the frame, and actually to all the copies of the frame because it's a type parameter. And by this, you get your first very basic type of Windows, which is it doesn't have, you know, not no types, no subtypes inside. Uh, there is no opening in it, so it's just not operable. It's just fixed. And uh, there is no specific, you know, frame, uh, external trim or external frame, neither an internal frame. Uh, there is no sweep. It's just based on extrusion, very basic extrusion. Anyway, guys, I will keep showing you the series, the, the, the series, a good series of, uh, you know, types and properties, uh, different properties or more advanced feature for designing uh, more complex windows in the next videos. Thank you very much, and I wish that you find this video useful. Have a good day, and bye-bye.